Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. Continuing with my MoYu London ABC series, I am still on E and I am using the Explorer Plate 10 from the Explorer collection. This is the only one I have in that plate. And so I was going to maybe do this or something. I'm not sure yet. So we'll see. I have some tips here, of course. So I am using, oh, focus. There we go. Drunk Fairy Polish Whiteout. And this is just a regular polish. I think this is dry enough, so I'm going to go ahead and do another coat. I'm trying to do it thicker this time. I would have filed off all the little nubbies at the end, but I guess I missed one. I'm going to let this fully air dry, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. The nails are fully dry. They had a good 20 minutes because I was outside collecting chicken eggs. So. And I got all bit up by mosquitoes. Alright, so I was going to do a little bit of an ombre. And I'm looking for some colors. I was thinking about pairing these two. It's kind of a reddish orange and a gold. I don't know if that'll work, but let's see. Great. Got one of my little makeup sponge cubes. And again, these are ones that I got off of I don't know, may, I think these were AliExpress and they're more like memory foam. They don't have the same density as regular um, makeup sponges. So they don't have like all the little holes. They're much, much denser. So I'm using my Queen polishes. This is 609 Hathaway Gold and 612 Ruby Gem. Why am I not focused today? Zoomed in too much? I don't know. Let's see if this works better. I'll hold it up. Yeah, maybe I was just zoomed in too much. Let's see how these two do. This may not work. But we shall see. Do this way so this is the side I want. Such a pretty fold. Start in the middle. And kind of work my way up and around. I really like the patchy look that I gave. So I think I'm gonna repeat that. It was somewhat intentional. I'm sorry, somewhat unintentional. But again, I kind of liked it. So I'm just gonna, I'm not really gonna go for an exact ombre. It's kind of like a 
I don't know what's in my head is thinking patchwork ombre. Not your traditional, you know. Yeah, I think that's nice. I think that represents a safari sunset. I think I need more gold on this one, so I'll adjust that in a minute. And I'm just kind of twisting and turning, trying to make sure I get that gold and red evenly spaced. See if I can patch in a little bit more gold on this one. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. And I really like how when I kind of was patching this one, how the gold on top just kind of stands out a little bit more. So I'm just adding that tiny bit to kind of not have the gold to be so muted. All right, got that. Ooh, that's nice. I wasn't sure about that, but that looks really good. And, well, at least I think it looks really good. <laughs> I am going to set those aside to dry. All right, so I've never used this to try to pick up a stamp, but I'm going to. This is Drunk Fairy Polish Blackout. They have really nice polishes, and I think they people use them for stamping. I mean, that's I use the white, the white out for the base, and it was very quick drying. So we're gonna see how it goes, and I'm gonna pick up. Oh, that's thick. Well, not thick. That was kind of. Oh, no, I did that wrong. There we go. Yeah. And then I'm just going to go bloop, bloop. Oh my goodness, this piece does not want to come off. 
I peeled off a little bit of the color. I'm sorry. We'll make it look like part of the tree. Just technically, I think it was. Okay. I don't know. I really like that on that golden kind of reddish orange background. I think that looks really nice. Not your traditional sunset ombre. Stuff everywhere. Okay. I need to be more careful with my scraping technique this time. I did it again. I don't think that's going to look good. No, okay. I probably could have used the tree and then I'm trying to see maybe I should scrape this way sometimes that's what you have to do you have to change change your method because that is not working for me there we go that was better right but I didn't pick it up. I think I can just fill that in with the black. I think that's what I'll do. So we put this here and that's that part of the tree. When they're on the nail thing, they're like opposing each other at the same height. Yeah, about right there. Oh, I'm not in frame. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna just fill this bottom part in with black since I didn't get it picked up. All right, so let's see how that looks. I need to change my, forgot I had a leftover piece of sticky stamper station because my stamp and roller needs to be changed. Mm. All right, so I don't have to continue with these. I could, because that's the antelope, maybe. And then I can cut over to like, maybe, I don't know if I want that tree. I might just do the rest of these animals. Because I kind of want these. I'm kind of just thinking for a minute. You know, the bird's wings didn't get fully done in. Why am I opening white? I'm not even going to put any on my thing. I'm just going to 
do it just like this. Just very carefully. Fill in those wings. Yeah, that worked. No. Get this black off my brush. Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm doing it out of frame like usual. And the birds on here. They have some open spots. That might be okay. I don't, I don't want to. Yeah, that one will be on the end because I want, I don't like the, any end nails or images. I don't like, like if the elephant, it would be walking off the page that way. I want it to like be facing the other animal. See the giraffe is going this way. This one's facing the giraffe. This one's going to be facing the elephant. The elephant's going to be facing that way. Okay, that's what I want. I'm, I'm really liking this um, drunk fairy black, drunk fairy polish black. Sorry, I used a lot of acetone, so I wanted to make sure it's all off. I wish this, um, if I'd have done it a little bit higher, maybe I could. But it would have been really cool to get... Um, both elephants on the nail, but I don't, ugh. making a mess. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Let's see. So I want them lined up. Yeah, it won't be possible to get both of them, but I don't want half of just one. So... Guess maybe I should have done them up higher. But I was thinking that would leave so much black at the bottom. So I think I'm gonna do it right there. All right, I did that a little wonky. 
it kind of arched a little bit the way I was placing it on. And I think I want to add something. Yes, yes, I'm a mess. So, so I always say I work in a preschool and, and one of the other classes, one of the older classes, um, they do um, like chants to like um, follow certain routines. So the teacher says, class, class, and the, te the kids say, yes, yes. And she says, class, class, and they say, yes, yes. And then she says, follow, follow. And then they, you know, they follow her in the line to their classroom. And it's, she, this teacher has the sweetest voice. So when she says it, I just, it makes me giggle and I'm, I have it stuck in my head. The little chant, I'm sitting here thinking, class, class, yes, yes, class, class, yes, yes. My, my class or my class is um, one-year-olds. Man, I'm making those birds look wackadoo. That's okay though. They're just a silhouette. Um, so my kids can't really answer me that way, but I, my class, and we don't have to have these, it's just tips you pick up along the way, um, but I say, one, two, three, look at me, and then I'll change it up once they start learning my name, but now I'll say, one, two, three, look at D, because... Nobody at school can say Donnell. They all say, they all call me D, which I don't particularly like. They know I don't like it, but they still do it because they can't say my name. So it, it's kind of stuck. So, but I really like the other teacher, how she says that. It's so sweet with her sweet little voice. All right. I think I'm going to do some of these bigger birds on the other nail. It just needs that little extra up top. Yeah, I'm going to make them go like... I didn't even mean to do that, but look how good that that circle is right there. It's almost like the sun. <laughs> Completely on accident, but it came out nice. I wish they had a, another little style of birds on here, because I think that would be cute. I mean, these are cute, but it would be cute to have... Oh, those came out terrible. It would be cute to have um, something with, you know, more than just the two images of the birds up there, I think would be cute. So let's see how this one goes. Kind of having problems picking this up. Yeah, they don't look very bird like. They're just like little specks. 
And I know the other one is too, but I don't, I don't like that. Let's pick up this big bird and see if I can do it a little bit better. Fill in his little spots that aren't picking up. I don't know if it's my stamper or what's going on with this picking up with the little holes. Sorry, I'm just filling those in. Let's see if I can like. I'm trying to make them kind of more bird-like, but I'm not doing a very good job. Simple, but effective, right? And so there we go. I'm going to let these dry while I clean up, and then I'll be back in a minute for a top coat. All right, I am back, and now we're going to go ahead and apply, moving everything down one. I'm going to go ahead and do the... Any allergy, smudge free top coat. I'm having to do a really thick layer because it's so gooey. And if y'all noticed, I only did four nails. I could have did five and got more on it. I could still add one if I wanted to, but I've decided to not, I wouldn't say I've decided to not always do five nails, but since they are just for educational, I shouldn't even say educational, I meant to say entertainment purposes. I don't really feel like it's necessary to do all five. So there's that. And then we're going to let this dry fully. And then we're going to put on a final top coat. So I'm going to give this probably a good 10 to 15 minutes and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. The smudge free top coat is all dry. So I'm going to use this Essie gel setter top coat and they look perfect. They're gorgeous. I love how that third one looks like a perfect sun right there. Totally on accident. 
really nice. I need to fix this. That's that little nubby and the polish kind of didn't get quite all the way on it. But they're really nice. There we go. Moyu London ABC series. This is the Explorer Collection Plate 10. Until next time. Bye.